Brothers and sisters, for those who are tuned in, you're tuned in to part two of God's plan for man. It's just getting good, brothers and sisters. We just learned in Hosea, the 10th chapter, that the fruit that Adam and Eve ate was the fruit of the lies of Satan, brothers and sisters, which which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Let's go, brother Julius. Let's go. Black eye, let's go back to Genesis chapter two. Let's go back to Genesis chapter two and let's see who killed who who sin and the wages of sin. We're going to read it out of the Bible. Genesis chapter 2 uh -huh. and read verse 16 and 17. Genesis 2, 16 and 17, Ike. Genesis 2, 16 and 17. Now pay attention to who's talking. Again, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, uh -huh. but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, again, the which tree is Satan. Of the knowledge mm -hmm. of good and evil. Come on, Ice. Thou shalt not eat of it, uh -huh. for the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. So who came up with death? The Lord came up with death as a reward, brothers and sisters, for disobedience. So the wages of sin is what, Ice? Is death. God told you. So therefore. You have a choice. Yes. So therefore, the Lord is not going to go back on his word. He don't change. So now, the man didn't sin. Let's go to Genesis chapter 3 real quick. And then we're going to go further into this lesson. Because you need to understand, sisters and brothers, all this murder, all this stuff is not supposed to be. It ain't nothing new. It's just tragic. But it's nothing new. Genesis 3 uh -huh. and, and verse 1, Black Eyes. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Uh -huh. And he said unto the woman, yeah. Have God said you shall not eat uh -huh. of every tree of the garden? Wait a minute. What is he quoting to the woman? He's quoting what God quoted to the woman. How did he know? Because he, he was there, brother Jesus. He got kicked out from heaven, so he know the scriptures. Mm -hmm. He used to stand in the presence of God. But go ahead, Ice. Verse 2. Yeah. And the woman said unto the serpent, again, which is Satan, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but uh -huh. of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, right. God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. So, black guys, what did it say? Now, he, they knew, they knew what God had commanded them. Come on, Ice. Verse 3. Um, verse 4. Yes. And the serpent said unto the woman, or Satan said unto the woman. What? You shall not surely die. You shall not surely what? You shall not surely die. But Genesis chapter 2, verse 17, the Lord said you shall surely die. Mm. So therefore, they did. So what did they do, black guys? Verse, uh, and to show you that he knew God's plan, continue in verse 5. The devil knew God's plan when he was up in heaven, when his name was Lucifer. But Verse he knew the plan of God. Come on, Ice. Genesis 3 and 5. Yeah. For God does know that in the day you eat thereof, when your eyes shall be opened. Then your eyes shall be opened. And you shall be as gods. You shall be as what? As gods. What do you mean? What do you mean he, you going to be as gods? Brothers and sisters, this is unlocking something that the whole world has missed over. Brothers and sisters, Satan is on to something, brothers and sisters. He knows. He knows something, but he uses what, he's no, what he knows. Brothers and sisters, I tell a story. And the story is, one day truth and a lie went swimming together. And when Lai saw truth in the water naked, Lai went and put on truth's clothing. And now what we have is a naked truth trying to catch up with the well-dressed lie. Satan dressed up that lie. He said, you ain't going to surely die. God said that the day, remember, a day to the Lord is equal to 1,000 years. 1,000 years. Say, um, Adam never lived to see 1,000 years. But Satan going to dress this lie up to Eve to make it look interesting, brothers and sisters. Throw a little bit of truth up in there and mix it up and beguile the woman. And he said, brothers and sisters, at verse uh, what, what we at, Brother Jew? Uh, we were at verse 5. Verse 5. Yeah. For God does know that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, uh -huh. and you shall be as God's, knowing good and evil. And you shall be as God. See, what makes poisonous, uh, what makes poison effective is when you mix it in with something good. Give somebody that they like. I better be quiet. I'm going into false prophets now. Give the people some. Tell them what they want to hear. Give them something they did like, but put a twist on it. Or, brothers and sisters, put it like this. The pills that you take have a coating on top of it. Uh-huh. And it sweetens the bitter taste of the pill. Wow. But, 
They didn't listen. And for God do know the day that you eat, your eyes are going to be open. And what happened at verse 6? And the Lord command. they knew the commandments of God. Black guys, come on. Genesis 3 and 6. Yes. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food uh -huh. and that it was pleasant to the eyes. Because he's coming to the woman. To the woman. Come on, eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. What did she, she do? She took of the fruit thereof. What fruit was that? The fruit of his lies. The knowledge of the Satan the devil. You're not supposed to be dealing with the devil, sisters and brothers. Go ahead, Ice. She took the fruit thereof and did eat. Uh -huh. And gave also unto her husband with her. Uh -huh. And he did eat. So, Black Ice, what happened to them? Continue. Verse 7. And their and their and the eyes of them both were open, uh -huh. and they knew that they were naked. Wait a minute, black eyes. So the devil didn't fully lie to them, did he? He mixed some truth in. He told them that they God. He told them that your eyes gonna be open, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. He didn't lie about that. But what he lied about was you shall not surely die. Read black eyes. And the eyes of them both were open, and uh -huh. they knew that they were naked, uh -huh. and they sewed fig leaves together and uh -huh. made themselves aprons. Because now they're ashamed. Skip down to verse 9. Skip down to verse 9. We going somewhere with this because you need to know why all is sin. Why it's going? Because people have departed from the word of God. They don't want God in their knowledge. All they want to do is live their life the way reckless and without care, without worrying about the consequences of their behavior and there's a consequence for your behavior until there's a funeral brother julius and boy and then we aren't start you tired of going to funerals and then we start thinking about what god planned for man is mm. is this the end or wow. will i see my loved one again but when i see him in what body and what shape is he gonna be filled with holes mm -hmm. is he still gonna have this disease this cancer inside the body mm. Or is God going to do something different? We're going to reveal that to you today. Verse 9. Go ahead. Genesis Ice. 3 and 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are you, Adam? Yeah. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Wait a minute. You weren't in the garden. You weren't afraid when I told you don't eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You weren't afraid then. Mm. And I hadn't even brought forth the woman when I told you that. Come on, Ice. And he said... Who told thee no, that you no, was naked? No, no, You read that wrong. It should say what? No. A snake or a serpent is a what? Mm -mm. Personal who, pronoun. Who told you what? Who told you that you were naked? Uh -huh. Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded you uh -huh. that thou shouldest not eat? Go ahead. And the man said, the woman who you gave us to me to be with me, uh -huh. she gave me of the tree and I did eat. Wait a minute. Now you're going to blame me for giving you the woman and now you're going to throw the woman up under the bus. But remember, brothers and sisters, God didn't give the commandments to the woman. He gave it to the man. Brother wow. Judas. Wow. So now what was the part of punishment? Uh, she would be in subjection to her husband and she would have pain during her pregnancy. Uh, childbirth and everything the man so let's look at what the man bought in verse 17 verse 17 nice and it reads yeah and unto adam he said because that thou has hearkened unto the voice of thy wife yes and has eaten of the tree of which i commanded thee saying that thou shouldst not eat of cursed is the ground for thy sake yes. and sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of your life all the days that you go eat and what else gonna happen black eyes thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to you You're right and thou shalt eat of the herb of the field everything we eat come out the ground and the and the earth don't yield the way that it used to yield because man didn't listen. So because it don't yield, you have to put food additives or artificial things into the ground. Next thing you know, we got all kinds of cancer and all kinds of things uh, going into From our body. Pesticides. Chemicals and, and everything. Mm -hmm. So now, when you mess up with God, there's a price to pay. Come on, Ice. Verse 19. Here we go. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread, uh -huh. till thou return unto the earth. Until you go back to heaven. No, until you return unto the ground. Until you wrapped it up. No, till you return back to where you came from. Read it. Until you return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken. You didn't come from heaven. For dust thou art, and to dust shalt thou return. How did you prove it? Because the Lord told you that when you die, well, let's let, let's let the book show it. Let's go to Psalm the 82nd chapter. And we're getting ahead of ourselves. Psalm chapter 82. What did the devil tell the woman? 
The day that you eat, your you should be as what ice? As God. Knowing what? Good. Both good and evil. Uh-huh. You're going to be like God. You shall be as God's. He meant that. He knew that. He knew that plan. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms chapter 82. Let's see if the plan of God can be proven. Sisters and brothers, we didn't write a word of this. This is not our interpretation. This is the word of God. Psalms 82. And verse 1, Black Ice. And verse Psalm 1. Psalm 82 and verse 1. Psalms 82. Yes. And verse 1. Look at what he, look what, remember, he created, the uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then he created the man, made the man supervisor over his creation. Made the man out of the dust of the ground, but put his word in the man for, the, for a reason. Why, Black Ice? One. Psalms 82 and 1. Right. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Uh-huh. He judgeth amongst the gods. He judges amongst what, Black Ice? The gods, Brother Julius. He, man was created to become God. The plan of God for man is to be make man like him. In every sense of the word. I don't know, understand why we can't believe that or we'll never be God. What are we reading here? Mm -hmm. He standeth where, Black Ice? He standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He uh -huh. judgeth amongst the gods. He's, and what else? What else did How you tell us? How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Uh -huh. Selah. Yeah. Defend the poor Defend and the fatherless. Poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Uh-huh. Deliver the poor and needy. Uh -huh. Rid them out of the hands of the wicked. Yes. They know not, neither will they understand. Right. They walk in darkness. All the foundations of the earth uh -huh. are out of course. All why, black guys? I have said is here. Yeah. I have said, uh -huh. you are gods. I have said, ye are gods. And yes. all of you are children of the Most High. Yes. I have said, you are gods. So, Brother Julius, here's, Bring it down for a, here's a defining moment in this lesson today. Uh huh. Either you believe what Jesus is saying, you are all gods, or you believe that Jesus is lying. There's no in between. There's no right or left or no hot or no cold. Brothers and sisters, it's just truth or no truth. Wow. What's God's plan for man, brothers and sisters? Because again, God wants us to be joint heirs uh -huh. with Christ. Yeah. And if we're going to be joint heirs with Christ, which is our big brother, we're going to be what he is, brothers and sisters. Because you're made in his image and you're made in his likeness, but not out of what he's made out and of. And the question is, can you find anywhere in this Bible where, the, where Jesus, the lamb, the rock, or the one whom we call the word, is he's, given the title of God? Can we find that anywhere in the Bible? Because again, we're going to be joint heirs with him. That's our big brother, brothers and sisters. Uh-huh. Can we find it? Let's go to John 1 and 1. Come on. And see if we can find somewhere in this book. Where the Son is called a God. We know that the Father is God. Uh -huh. Can we find somewhere in this book where the Son is called God? Let's Absolutely. go to John 1 and 1 and read it real quick. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And we know that the Word is Jesus. And the Word was God, right. was with God. Right. And the Word was God. So here is giving the word, brothers and sisters, the title is God. Is it anywhere else that we can find in this book where the son is called a God? Let's go well, to Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, brothers yeah. and sisters. Philippians chapter 2. No problem. We're going to go to verse. Philippians 2 and start at verse 1, black guys. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, uh -huh. if any comfort of love, right, brothers and sisters, if any fellowship of the spirit, if any bowels, any mercies, yes. fulfill ye my joy. And do what? That ye be like-minded. That you be what? Having the same love, being of one accord and uh -huh. of one mind. Go ahead. Let nothing be done without strife or vain glory. Right. But in lowliness of mind. Because that's the mind of God, yes. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Uh-huh. Look not every man of his own image, but every man also on the things of others. Right. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Hold that right there. Brothers and sisters, this is part two of God's plan for man. Uh -huh. It's about to get deep. Stay 